and hello world. Okay, so for my today's video, ituturo ko po sa inyo at isashare ko po kung paano ko po ginagawa ang aking mga thumbnails gamit ang aking mobile phone only. Okay, at papakita ko rin sa inyo kung ano po yung app na ginagamit ko. Especially for those um, new bloggers or beginners just like me. And if you want to learn from this video, please stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so... Let's go! I mentioned earlier, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ko ginagawa ang aking thumbnail using my mobile phone for my YouTube videos na ina-upload ko sa aking channel. Okay? First things first, you just have to provide the photos or screenshot na para sa nagagamitin nyo on your thumbnail and it should be related on your content. Okay? So, since na-download ko na yung aking thumbnail app, okay, just hit thumbnail. And there are other options na pwede nyo magamit using this thumbnail maker. Okay, so there are channel art maker, cover maker, and this this my project. Dito nagsasave lahat ng mga thumbnails na nagawa ko na. Okay, so there... So, intro maker, dito nyo pwedeng gawin kung ano yung desire nyo para sa intro ng inyong vid. Okay? So, pwede nyo gawin dyan. And using this vlog star, this is where you could edit your videos. Okay? Alright, so since thumbnail maker ang thumbnail maker ang topic natin or content for today, so thumbnail po ang gagawin natin. So, you just have to hit thumbnail. By the way, you'll be needing internet connection for you to able to do this, okay? So, there you go. In-redirect na po niya tayo dito sa page na to where you can see the camera icon where you can upload the photo of your content. Okay, so you just have to select a photo of your content. There you go. So, it will redirect you there. So, yan na yung background ng thumbnail ko. And there is an option here. This is where you can put text. Okay. So, kahit anong text na gusto nyo ilagay. And this icon. Alright. So, you could add image. Na kahit anong image. So, you could use this cutout as well, okay? Ito po yung, let's say, may picture na kayo. May picture kayo and ayaw nyo na may background. Okay, so sample this one. So, you have to cut kung ano lang po yung part na gusto nyong kunin. Alright. There you go. So, there is a next button there. So, you just have to click that. If you wanna clean it, ayan na siya. So, ito na po siya lalabas. Then, you just have to place it there. What I'm doing here, kasi since may bayad siya, ini-screenshot ko lang po siya para ma-place ko doon sa aking thumbnail if I wish to. Okay? So, since hindi ko naman kakailanganin that, let's move on to our next Okay, so there. So, yung ito yung text where you can put. Okay, just have to edit. Text. Okay. Just like yung topic ko for my, for this, or content for this video. Okay. Um, buhay ng UV Express. express driver okay so there so there are fonts or options na pwede nyo pagpilian okay so at these are ayan text color stroke blur ito po yung mga options okay so ako kasi I don't want ayoko masyadong komplikado so what I'm using is ito lang yung text lang na yan. Okay. 
So, if you want to put another text or you just have to click this part again. And, iyan na, lalabas na siya dyan. Okay, then, clear. Built up. So, click ko lang din yon uli kanina, to place on. So, may mga image ako na gustong i-include there. So, I just have to hit this part. Okay, so, meron na akong mga nakasave dito kasi. So, I just have to add it and place it where I want to. Okay, so, where, kahit ano, kahit ano ilagay nyo, it's up to you guys. Okay, recording there. Okay, so, ayan na. So, you just have to hit the check, okay, to save. Alright, so there. Say, may nagkamali kayo and you have to go back and edit it. You just have to go on your upper left corner of your screen. Nakikita niya tong pencil icon. This is where you can edit your thumbnail. Okay? Let's say, meron kayong gustong baguhin, balikan, or na-misspell nyo yung, yung text na inilagay nyo, you could edit it back. Okay, there you go. So, you just have to edit. Let's say there. Edit picture. Okay, edit text. Okay, there is a pencil icon there. Sa bawat text na inilalagay nyo, you just have to hit that. Okay. You just have to hit. So, edit text if you wish to edit it. Okay? So, there you go. Okay, so after creating your thumbnail, make sure na na-upload nyo na yung video on your YouTube channel. Okay? So, you just have to go to YT Studio app using our mobile phone as well. Okay, so this YT Studio app, this is where nakalink na po yung aking YouTube channel, okay? So you just have to hit that app, dashboard, and there, okay? So choose videos. Usually, okay, so usually pag wala pang thumbnail, yung video lang ang mag-appear here, okay? So let's just assume na wala pa siyang thumbnail, okay, you just have to hit that video and it will look like uh, blank ko lang siya kapag wala siyang thumbnail, okay I'm just going to show you how are you going to edit your thumbnail using your YT Studio as well, okay so there is a pencil icon at the upper right corner of your screen you just have to hit that and there is edit thumbnail okay so once you hit edit thumbnail it will redirect you where you can choose photo na para sa inyong content okay so there so since i have this thumbnail photo already i just have to click on the select button dito sa upper right corner of your screen again then select then hit save as well okay there so, after saving that, okay, so you just have to you, to choose, okay, from, okay, so it will redirect you in this page, okay, so change, So, you just have to select kung ano po yung thumbnail na prefer nyo. And then, hit select button here at the upper right corner of your screen. Again, then, don't forget to hit save. Okay? Okay. 
after saving, makikita nyo na yung thumbnail. Just like, uh, since in-assume lang natin kanina na wala pa siyang thumbnail. And it, this will be your videos pag may thumbnails na. Okay. So, there you go. Okay, so, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like this video and comment down below kung meron po kayong mga katanungan, okay? At kung bago naman po kayo sa aking channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para lagi po kayo updated sa lahat po ng mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching and God bless everyone! Bye!